I am now Bain, this is my review for the Ink Hunt DLC for the Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing 2. The Ink Hunt DLC is normally 5 bucks, the cheapest it's ever been is $1.70. It is separated from the main story, has to be played after, as it is set after. A strange ink gate has opened in our underground maze. It's disturbingly close to my secret lair, and we don't know where it leads, or what might come through that rift. The story itself isn't really interesting and the voice acting is a mix of okay to just bad. But it won't be easy. I have changed into something stronger. I'll kill you first. Because the DLC has to be played after the main quest, that means you'll probably be on the level cap already, which means no experience points, but you'll still get gold, which isn't really needed, but there is also better equipment to get, so at least it's something. There are four maps in total, most of them are pretty small, but the environments are varied. There's some side quests, and most of them have two ways of completing them, which is nice, but there's nothing really special about the quests. It's usually either kill this, collect that, talk to this person. Pretty boring. The Ink Hunt DLC takes between an hour and 30 minutes to two hours to finish. There isn't really any new content. Like all the enemies, there's something really special about them and these big guys, I'm sure, are from the first game. Bosses were okay, except for the last one, who was just a complete joke. This is my battle against him. Yeah, pretty lame. The bosses and elite mobs before the last boss were way harder than the last boss. I did come across a few bugs, which is pretty disappointing considering how long the game has been out for. There was a side quest where when I tried to complete it, the game always crashed, which means I couldn't finish the side quest. This, I wasn't the only person with this problem as well, which is pretty unfortunate. And one of the bosses got just disappeared and I need to kill him to continue. Thankfully, exiting the level and returning fixed this. Overall, the Incunt DLC isn't too good really at all. It's pretty short, there's nothing really that new about it. And because the Incunt DLC has to be finished after the main quest, you want to make sure you do want to play through the whole game instead of just buying it and then never playing it. Overall, the Incunt DLC gets a meh out of 10.